Hi, on the Woodpecker today, I'm cutting birch boards. But this time around, I'm using my new Bensa. With the ugly clear cut around the cottage, I can now clearly see the lake through the forest. Uh, but I would rather have a forest. But the worst is the dozens and dozens of piles of cut wood that were left to rot on the ground. So I've decided to unroll René, and together we'll cut some lengths of birch. After cutting a bunch, uh, we fill up the pickup box. And when the box is full, I can bring all this wood home. Here it is, just beside the shop. It's time to cut some boards now. This time around, I'm going to use my new Bensa. Uh, but obviously, not with this blade. So I begin by sharpening uh, the blade that Matthias gave me. When it's done, I can put it in place. But with such a big blade, <laughs> I have to readjust the blade's adjustment. The first thing I'm going to do is cut two corners off each lug. To do so, I screw a 2x8 to a lug. Then, with René's help, we cut the first corner. When it's done, I screw the 2x8 to the fresh cut and return to the saw. Now we have to repeat all the same operations for the rest of our lugs. After a while, we have a nice pile of lugs with two straight sides. Uh, but this is only part of what we brought back. To transform those into boards, I need to put my rip fence. And I set it for a five quarter cut, and now we can really start to cut some boards. One thing for sure, I can't complain about not having enough power on my saw. Nothing here is fast forwarded. But cutting that many boards makes a lot of sawdust. I need to clean the drawer from time to time. When it's empty, it's time to cut more boards. When I'm done, I have a nice pile of cutoffs on the floor. I need to cut all of those into firewood. The next morning, while I'm still sleeping, René removes all the bark remaining on the boards. With the right tool, this goes pretty fast. But my shop looks more like a dump than anything else. <laughs> but this can be easily fixed. Now I have a nice pile of boards. But before piling them for drying, I make a fresh cut on all their ends. Okay, I'm ready. 
This is a nice pile of wood, but I need to protect all the ends. So I brush a coat of old paint on every end of every board. When I'm done, the trailer is full of boards. I even have more wood in front of it. But before I can pile them, I need to cut some stickers. I think I have enough. So it's time to bring all the boards inside the shop and sort them by length on my workbench. Now we're ready. First, I let Renée play with my toys <laughs> so she can cut the stickers to length. Then, both of us pile the boards. And here's my nice pile of birch boards. I have to say that I'm very pleased with the performance of my saw. And one day, I'll use all this wood to build something. But until then, I hope you'll come back to see more episodes of The Woodpecker. Woodpecker.